Hello, everybody. everybody. This is the Jay and the Joe, Joe show. show, and we're so excited to have you with us again today. We're doing a little bit different. Um, we've had a lot of questions people have sent us, and today we just want to answer those questions. Yeah. And we want you guys to get a little bit of insight into our life. I know things can look pretty from afar, but we want to show you the real. And today we're gonna just dive deep into your questions that you've asked us. And yeah, I hope it blesses you. And relates with you. And relates with you. Come on. That's why you need a wife, guys. You just need a wife. Come on, we'll see you when we get back. Question number one. All right. Josh, what's question number one? Question number one is, how long did you date? We dated for a long time. <laughs> we dated because we knew we were not ready to get married. Yeah. When I saw Joanne, I was like, mm, she has potential. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we're not, I was nowhere near ready to get married. Financially, financial, not even financial. I'm, I don't think I'm coming. I'm I don't coming think financial is a big no, deal. No, but you need to be some somewhere. You need to not somewhere like set, but you need to. You have need to have your own, own source of of of, of, yeah. of what it, that But looks vision like. does not mean so finance. You can't be waking up in the morning, not doing anything. Of course, not being at home. Okay, just chilling, that's not that's not finances though. Financially, like. E no, because financially, that means a lot of guys are going to say, no, I can't afford to get married right now, right? But they're working hard. They know where they want to go. Okay, then that's, they are, they're setting themselves financially. Yeah, they have a vision for what they want to do, but right. they don't have the funds right now. But I don't think not having the funds is a reason why you shouldn't get married. No, 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 no. no. I don't have the funds to get married. I don't married. think I meant funds. I that's think what financially I said, means. Vision. You're vision. talking about vision. Right. Get a vision. Get a job. Get your work. Something and that work you to toward it. So, I wasn't ready at all. Yeah. Uh, we started dating in 2017. Yeah. We got married in 2021. 2021. So it's about five years, but it was a lot of long distance. We were in different times. So really about three years, mm -hmm. about three years of dating. And if you want to hear that whole story, uh, you can click, I think it's above here somewhere. There's a video right here. It shows how we met. And has the whole story. They uh, they still need part two from us. Oh yeah, we're gonna give you coming. part two. How we met part two is coming. <laughs> coming. It's coming. So click the video up here to see how we met. Yeah. And uh, yeah, next question is. Next question is, where did you go for honeymoon? Honey, honeymoon. We're on the honey. We went to the moon and drank some honey. Just now, please. <laughs> No, so where you. did we go, baby? Um, we went to the Maldives. Kaha. The reason being, well, I didn't choose the location. It was a whole surprise to me. A whole surprise. I told her we're going to Dubai. Yeah, Dubai. So this is a story, actually. I'll give you a little bit of the story. So I had been saving up. I bought this girl the ring. Cost me a lot. And I saved up just enough for a honeymoon. And I got on this site, I forget the name of the site, but the site gives you like discounts and deals for the honeymoon. And so one day I'm just on it and the place that I wanted to go was this really exclusive rest, uh, resort in, in Maldives. And the price was like a really good amount. It was like so low, like something that you would get for like $10,000, $15,000 for a night. I got it at such a good price. And the instant I saw it, I went and I purchased those tickets. 10 minutes later, that offer was gone. Wow. Like it was gone. It was divine. So it was a Lord just yeah. saying, I'm a bless you with this. Yeah. So I literally put the, I didn't have the tickets. I didn't have anything, but I said, this hotel, I'm booking it. And I booked it that day, that very second. I got five nights in exclusive Ex very exclusive uh, place. Actually, when we went there, we were the youngest people there. <laughs> Everyone was like in their yeah, 40s, their 50s, yeah. and we're just like, Ooh. yeah, bro, what's up? They were like French people, Italian people. But you know what actually the funny part is? We did not leave the house. Yeah. No, honeymoon was, 
yeah, we were just, yeah. We were inside, we're like, oh, it's so pretty outside. And then we look close and then the close the curtains again. And Come on now. It's chill. Yes, sir. Um, but I'm glad that you chose Mill Dave's because that's so me. I love the beaches. The beach, the relaxation. We fell in the water, the, they took yeah. us on the jet ski. We had a great time. By the way, go to Mel D's. And the reason why Mel D's was a great option was because Joanne has the Ugandan ID, so she couldn't go different places. Because yeah. Uganda, man, people really struggle to travel. You need a visa and the whole process. And so uh, Mel D's was a good place. We also wanted to go to Bali, but Bali was locked down for yeah. COVID-19, because that was the time to go on COVID-19. So I'm like, yeah, Joanne, we're going to Maldives. Oh, I mean, to Dubai. They were just like, yay, Dubai. And so we got to the airport and everything. And then I was like, you know, we're actually going to Maldives. And she's like, what? Really? I was like, yeah. So that was sure. good. A good, a good, great experience. Good surprise, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Next question is just for you. Next question is, what, what do you do, What do you Josh? do? What do you do, Joanne? What do you be doing out here? You what, say what you're you? busy, busy, busy. What oh, do you okay. do? Okay, all right. I'm in the ministry. Yeah. I deliver the word of God. Come I on. love to preach, and I love to see God's people transform. Amen. I love to see God being represented in all spheres, in all areas, in media, in music, that's media, in sports, in school, in education. Edu like school, education. Yeah. So in everything, I just love God. And God is the main thing about my life. And without Jesus, without God, I am not here. Mm -hmm. There's no scenario where I'm alive doing what I'm doing and touching people's lives. I would be a bum. I would be a loser. I would be, I wouldn't have a wife. Be a chicken. <laughs> but by the grace of God, the I'm, Lord. I'm here. So we yeah, I, I do that. I do media. Yeah. I do many other things behind the scenes. And you're a father. And I'm a big papa. <laughs> and you're a husband. Oh, the best. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Like you love me. I did. But do it like you love no, me. No, that's enough, Josh. Okay. Uh, uh, don't get jealous now. Come on, get your own wife. What do you do, Joe? What do you do? I do pretty much the same thing. Mm. Represent the Lord in the spheres of school, education. Mm. Um, She's an administrator. <laughs> Very humble one, by the way. How do you go to school with your two-month-old baby, three-month-old, four-month-old baby, and work a whole day? Well, guys, Joanne's a superwoman. Then she comes home and tries to, and cooks, not tries to cook. Come on, she's a mother, she's the woman of the household. Sorry, what do you do, Joanne? Speak for yourself. I do that. I um, Yeah, I'm involved in ministry, mm -hmm. the awakening. Come on. If y'all don't know about awakening, you're sleeping. Worship leader. Listen, mm. let's, let's just talk about this. All if right. you don't know about awakening, you are sleeping. What you doing? Really? You need to wake up. You need to open your eyes. And come and join us every Tuesday. At Tuesdays at 6. 6. Come on now. Yeah, come on. come on in. Trust me. And have a good time. Trust me. And experience. Christian Life Church, 6 yeah. p.m. every Tuesday night. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've waiting. But yeah, I do that in school and mom and wife. And YouTube and this. Yeah, I guess you're doing YouTube too. <laughs> Why did you choose the name Judah? Why Judah? I actually for your child? did not choose. We, I didn't choose the name Judah. Who chose? I did not choose the name Judah. I did not choose the name Judah. You don't like Judah? I'm just saying, Josh chose the name Judah, and I was it's like, it's a father's well, responsibility. And Debbie did as well. They were on the phone, the like, child. oh my gosh, Judah, Judah Jackson Senyonga, and it was like she came out with the Jackson. Yeah, she came romanticizing, yeah, romanticizing everything. Judah Jackson, JJ. Yeah, and I was like, well, I guess let's go with it. Mm. I, I chose Judah because it means praise, and we need a male singer in our family. <laughs> Because your boy can try to sing, but he can, but it's not <laughs> work. So my prayer, my hope is Judah be the man of praise in Come this on, family. Somebody. That's a younger of praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much why I, I hope Judah. he doesn't disappoint. Judah, if you're watching Judah, this, I don't know how long. You better learn how to sing. We're gonna take you to singing classes. <laughs> All right. Mm, this is good. This is a good one. Uh. Were you Joshua? Mm. Were you in the room when Joe gave birth? Now, not only was I in the room, I was in. experiencing <laughs> the birth together. When she was crying, I was crying. You know what I'm saying? We no, were, I don't we, know what you're saying. 
We were in it together. I remember Joanne with the we with, with our house in Tulsa. No, and we're she's gonna like, give a bus story. So okay, we will, I, I don't give away Your everything. Your question was, were you in the room when? But let me give a little bit. Okay. Let me give, so I was, we 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 at the house, and she's like, I think my water broke. I was like, you sure? She's like, yeah. I was like, D -d 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 -d. everything just slowed down. Like I don't want to go in depth because this is a whole story, so I'm just gonna be quiet. So so then I was like, oh my god. So I went to the to the to the to the to the place. Josh was on a marathon. Shh, I was in action, a man of action. Amazing race. <laughs> no, she Joanne sees me moving fast, but in my head everything was slow. Wow. Move. Pa, pa, Josh pa. was getting grabbing everything together. Everything. Organizing. In less efficiency. You see, that's what happens when you're in control. When the, yeah? Yeah, I was so in control. Love that for you. So I drove Joanne to the hospital. We were there for like the first night, and then they did the whole thing. Yeah. I slept in the room. We did. He did. Um, they he started. Was there. He didn't leave. Yeah. Like, when she started contraptions. Huh? Contra contractions. Huh? Contractions. Contraction. Mm -hmm. Contractions. <laughs> I was Josh dead. Josh said contraptions because he so I was like, can somebody help? Contraptions. We had our I maid of honor there, so shout, shout out Mo, you, shout out Mo, you the fam, you the man. She bought us food, Chick Fil A. Yeah. I miss Chick and I couldn't have Chick Fil A because when they wouldn't let you. Birth, no, they you don't want have, food. Yeah. They don't want you to eat food because you might do a number two. Yeah, it, I mean, birth is nasty, y'all. Like, yeah. it's so good. But I was watching. I was like, as soon as I get this done, I want Chick Fil A. Guys, it's so gross. Like, Lord, why? Food. Why is this the process? But Anyways, yeah, Josh was in the room when Stay. I was giving birth. Very supportive, held, holding my hand. I almost broke his hand off. Yeah, they need to teach men to do like <laughs> exercises to have yeah. a grip strength, because the way she held my hand and squeezed, right? Your challenges. It wasn't. <laughs> We're gonna go off. It wasn't right. It wasn't right. Yeah. Next question. How do you guys, or do you even fight? Uh, do you guys fight? Do you guys fight? I wonder who wrote this. Huh? Do you guys fight? <laughs> do you guys fight? I think we look so melancholic. Melancholic? Uh, melody. Guys, guys just, help me with English. Just, <laughs> We look so nice you on camera. You can take someone out of the village, but you cannot okay. take the village Speaking out of the village. Speaking about the village. I'm sorry, but what is, South what is South Dakota? What is Mitchell, Josh. South Dakota? That is what the is village. Josh, that is village. Okay. I'm not even going to let you finish. Okay. That is village. <laughs> okay. That is village, okay? If anyone's from the village. What is melancholy? Actually, there's nothing wrong with being from the village. If what is me village, what's melancholy? If, there's, if you're from Does the village. Joanne, we're not going in that conversation. <laughs> the question is, okay. do you fight? And you see, fight. we fought, right? <laughs> a little it? fight. But listen, do we fight? Yes, we fight. I think fighting is okay, but how do you how fight? How do you fight? Do you fight to question. win or do you fight to understand? Yeah. And whom do you fight? Do you fight your partner or do you fight the problem? That is fire. Okay, Josh. That is good. Yeah. What, wait, wait. Question Why is, do you fight? Do you fight to win or do you fight to understand? Whom do you fight? Do you fight the person or do you fight the problem? Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, sometimes, right there. Sometimes I feel like squaring, boxing, kicking. Kicking. <sighs> Tackling, slapping somebody, hey. not slapping. Uh, you cross a line. No, 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 no. I said I feel like, I feel like, when I say boxing, it's even worse than slapping. No, I'd rather you box me. Slap yeah. is like disrespect. <laughs> boxing is Man, disrespect. No, no, no. Boxing is like, yeah, we're in a fight. No, a right now I'm describing the actions but let me of fighting. Auntie, let me it's tell not you. like really, but, I want to slap you. But you, you don't, in a fight, you don't slap. Really? No, in a fight, you box. Like I would have, I would well, rather someone I'm just come. I'm what you people first do listen when they're to fighting. me. Let me tell you something. If someone comes and boxes you, mm -hmm. okay, cool. I'm in a fight. It hurts, right? But if someone comes and, it's like you can think. I like, see what you mean. You know, it's quite, it's quite, it's quite it's like, yeah. Very disrespectful. Yeah. But yes, we do fight, and one of the main things we do is learn that we're fighting the problem, and learn that we need to fight to understand. You know what I do, Josh, when I'm fighting with Josh? I, if it's too much for Teach me, me. If it's too much for me and I can't bear it. 
Lord have mercy. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm in a drama acting class. Like, what, what is going on? <laughs> no, if it's too much for me, Josh, I give you spice. Spice? Spice. Spice? I give space. Add, like attitude? No, no, I give you space. Space. I give Josh space mm. and I go cool off. And then I come back and I am communicating from Effectively. zero to a hundred. Mm. Everything that happened in between the lines, in the crevices, in everywhere, I am communicating that. But in the moment, I don't want to say anything that's just going to be detrimental. Yeah, in because the moment. it's very easy to fight the person. And that's what destroys a lot of people. When someone does something that the other person doesn't like, like, okay, I, did the di I didn't do the dishes. And you're angry because he didn't do the dishes. You come and say, what's wrong with you? Can't you do the dishes? Don't you see I'm doing this? Don't you see I'm doing this, right? Or if I have something that I don't like about Joanne, why are you doing this? What did it do? And we fight the person. Instead of saying, what's wrong with you? Saying, hey, you didn't do the dishes, why? Now that's fighting to understand, okay? Maybe, I don't like doing dishes Maybe and your I'm not fingers good. Cut. Yeah, you know, find the, the why and then fight the problem. Okay, the dishes need to be done. How can we effectively get the dishes done? Yeah. So fight to understand and fight the problem. Ooh, that's so good. Okay, Mr. Preacher. Mr. Preacher, don't get me in the, stop preaching out the Bible now. We'll be here all day. Okay, what's the next question, mama? Uh, the next question is... It's for you. How was the pregnancy? How was the pregnancy? <laughs> it was big. This is a whole... I'm going to come back and talk about this. Josh, it was. Nice. It was nice. I what liked was it. big? The cheeks were big. You know, she looked like a teddy bear. I just wanted to come and squeeze Now that, cheeks. I really blew up. Hey, hold up. I really blew up. What, was that the eighth month? Eight, like when seven, I got, eight. No, it's eight. Yeah. Eight, nine. Just went... Eight, nine. I really, really, I really felt like I need to, this needs to, this needs to end. Okay, I'm done. Third trimester, I was done. done. Mm. And before, I was really caring about what I eat, and I just just gave up. I was like, I can't I'm do eating this whatever I see. I'm just gonna go. But it was really hard. I mm. think the last trimester because it was a stretch. I was done carrying mm. i was done carrying mentally mm. if you didn't know this a lot of people be like you know you know she's just sitting out there you know everything is done for her sweetie i was working a full-time job full-time job eight hours a, 40 hours eight a week. hours a day 40 hours a week 40 hours a week josh please i'm being serious i'm emphasizing okay she was and i playing. was doing my masters and doing her masters physically physically not online physical going to classes yes and with I a was whole baby carrying a baby who does that for all the, the whole time she had school and she had work it was a lot eight hours i mean eight hours a day and then come home with and do heavy homework. traffic mental work that i was doing mm. and then come home and do my school which was also taxing. And then on top of that, the pregnancy, on top of that, I didn't have my family. Josh came to me. A um, couple months. Couple months. Like two months two you were months, there by yourself. Yeah, two months I was there by myself. And my mom was in there. I didn't have really like that close family that you know you can run to. And Uganda is so easy to be in because like everybody comes to your rescue. But America is such a lonely country, not gonna lie. Mm. And so with having all of that and being by yourself and oh my goodness, it was hard. But it taught me a lot of mental strength and I think pregnancy is such a beautiful thing if you take the twist on it and see it as a, a way to grow and a way to evolve and a way to see yourself as a strong woman. Powerful woman. But let me tell you something, it is not a joke. Mm -hmm. It is not one it's not a joke and uh for me uh as you ask how was pregnancy because when she's pregnant i'll consider us pregnant you also say, oh yeah josh was really being blowing up you know um so how was pregnancy for me the cravings were intense um cravings were intense i couldn't sleep the josh way I wanted. was eating <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, so the pregnancy was tough also, yeah. yeah but uh, we made it through. We got baby Judah. You made Judah. it through? I made it through, you yeah. know. 
We had to push in that hospital room yeah. together. How was that for you? I mean, my hand is still recovering, <laughs> but... <laughs> you cut the cord? Yeah, cutting the cord, you know. But how was the pregnancy? The pregnancy. The pregnancy. A lot of cravings. Uh, if you didn't see No, Josh but let me tell you something. When Guys, back. when your wife is pregnant, there's some things they don't teach you, like how to support her. Mm. You need to learn how to support her in the emotions. You have to support your wife in everything that she's doing when she's pregnant. And as a man, it means you really have to put your needs like way, way down. And it, it just comes with being also just the man of your house yeah. when you get husband and when you have kids. Your needs come down last. The needs of your wife, the needs of your kids, mm -hmm. the needs of everyone else comes above yours. And so pregnancy was just a great exercise. Like, man, I really can't be selfish because mm -hmm. she's doing all this and I'm and just And that's here. the culture here in so. Uganda where the men have to be preceded. Like, it's the man, it's mm. the man. And God teaches us this. This is what the Bible says. Like, men, you must die for your wives. Mm -hmm. Literally, might not mean a physical death, but dying to what you want, dying to what you need, yeah. dying to all those things. And it says, women, love your, love, love your husbands and submit to them. Yeah, but be submitting to someone who is dying for you. Yeah. Ooh. Not submitting to someone who lives for themselves. Yeah. And that's how you get so much confusion, especially in the church. Submit to someone who is willing to die for you, who's willing mm -hmm. to give up all these things for you. So that's what, that's what we did. I mean, when we left, uh, you know, it's, Sacrifices on different places, but Joanne did a great job, but the pregnancy was great. That's a great question. Whoever asked that, I'm gonna give you a token. I'm gonna come back and talk about this more. Yes, the pregnancy needs to have... There are things that we really go into as women and no one really talks about, mm. like how to cope and how to... Like, that might be an episode with just ladies. Yeah. I might not be there, because I am... <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you, mama. Anyways, um, um, next question is, what do we do in free time? Hmm. We don't get a lot, but we have Saturdays. We don't Saturdays. get a lot of free time, Saturdays, but hey. Saturdays, man. Saturdays. Yeah, you don't touch. Let me tell you, don't if you touch. want peace don't touch in our anything. household. Don't give us assignments. This is, if you want peace in our household, and you want us to love you to the maximum, and really consider you a true friend. Don't touch Saturdays. Don't touch Saturdays. Yeah. Please. It's a, it's a time of rest. The Bible teaches us yeah. there must be a sabbatical. Just, uh, 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 what is it called? Come he on. rested on the... The seventh day. Saturday is our seventh day. Actually, really? it is the seventh day because Sunday is the first day. So Oof. Saturdays is what we do. And on, what do we do on those days? Just Actually, chill. we just chill. But and other three times that we get, we host. We love to host. We love to cook for people. We bring Papa and Mama Eve here. We bring friends and cousins here. Birthdays Mama Jo. Here. Mama Jo. Everyone. We just love to have people here. But you come. And then Debbie is our newest guest because yeah. she's back. But she's listen. Shout out to you, we Debbie. We love to have you here. But you come and you go. That's that's right. It's a special thing. Come eat. Come enjoy. But there's gonna be a time where we say thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. <laughs> exactly. So so but we love that. Actually we love it so much and we're so blessed to be able to have that space to bring people in yeah. and host and uh, yeah. 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 And then the last question was, what is your favorite thing about marriage? My favorite thing about marriage is living doing, enjoying life with my best friend in a place that no one's going to take away from us. Mm -hmm. Not a place, like, but in a, in a convent that no one's going to take away from mm -hmm. us. In that security, building life together and raising Judah and whoever kids come later on. Amen. And teaching them the ways of the Lord and yeah, loving people and being an example and being purposeful. Mm, full of purpose. Yeah. I love that. That's yeah. a great answer. What is your favorite thing about marriage?